Hello everybody, this is Thylord Root here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Prison Architect. And unfortunately, I have some bad news to report here, which is that we have lost all of our progress on inmate nutrition. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this other deal run its course temporarily save the game and then what we will do after that is we will um, go ahead and give the grant money for that and that seems to be the best way to approach it because otherwise I mean I'm not putting these guys through another a riot situation again that is not going to be very helpful at all however what I will do is I will make some changes here now we got money and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go through we need to install pipes and some of these and I'm just going to I'm going to try out this idea here maybe what we can do is to keep the prism from flooding as such we can get these guys hooked up I'd give that a shot other than that the thing that we need to really handle here is maybe getting these guys. Why is our deal raising? I guess it's because we have not fed everybody yet, which is a bit of a shame. But what we'll do in the interim, we'll get this wall back up. That needs to be a priority, I believe. And then we'll get these guys to install this grate. And I believe once we do that, then we will be okay. Now, I don't, I believe that, this will not copy everything, unfortunately, and, okay, why is, this should be going down, are we, we should be on the new deal here. Um, I think I just installed drains where they should not be going accidentally. Also, we've got these walls here we've got to deal with. And so let's just knock these guys out because that is going to be a problem. These guys are going to be completely unreachable. And so we will complete this grant sometime tomorrow evening. I'm just going to put it on or maybe not African Swallow for those of you who are some city guys, but maybe like, I don't know, hair speed. And what do we have here? Oh, they're just getting everything going, it looks like. Very well.
We'll just wait for that to go. That is a bug that I will definitely be following with introversion, that deal where the grant progress is lost. That's a little bit annoying because, um, granted it is an alpha game and we are supposed to be aware of that. And it did not install the plumbing as we needed beforehand, although I'm not entirely sure that the plumbing is necessary at this point. Might be, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. But we'll... Oh, this could be bad. What is the biggest complaint here? Food. Everybody should be well fed. I'm not sure I understand the problem here. Because if we're having this much trouble, then this may be a problem. And this is why I will not be taking this grant again. <laughs> Especially after figuring out that bug. And we're gonna have to remember that for our timed stuff. But what I'll do is at the beginning of maybe not the next day but the day afterwards I'll save the game and then I will change that so in the interim we got prisoners coming in the majority of whom will probably be well fed if they actually go through and eat. And maybe my problem is I actually need to go through here and oops, somebody has been caught here. That is somewhat disconcerting. We do need to go in and put in metal detectors, I reckon, because these guys are going to cause trouble if we don't, and what is... This has been blocked somehow, for reasons that are unknown to me. Right, these guys should be eating up. Whoa, what is... Have we had a fight in here? Oh, our inmates are... Our inmates have already decided to get into a fight, it seems. Probably because there's insufficient space. Some guys are too dangerous. Yeah, somebody decided to get into a fight here. But I think I know why. We need to go here to the shower and get these guys set up so that they have the means to not get into a fight. 
and where are patrols when we need them? We need people who are patrolling. No wonder we're having issues with inmate tension. This may end up being a little bit short here. We'll go through and home dudes repairing everything here. Okay, this guy needs to Oh, this guy's going through and destroying everything. Dan Keevil. This is turning really bad. Maybe he's where are our guards? Wow, that just destroyed our without incident deal, isn't it? Yeah, we... That guy ruined just about everything because he decided he's going to to turn this into his personal punching bag. I thought we had a route down here. Well, it just goes to show that... Oh, you know what it was? This guy was probably riding. Because... We, um... Well, we d did feed him, I thought. Fortunately, we are not yet bankrupt, and we are back to getting everybody fed. But that is a little bit of a problem for us. See, I thought that that guy was just angry because he couldn't get a shower. As it turns out, that's not the case. Now, I wonder if books happen to do anything useful here. Uh, now might be a good time, actually, to, um... If we go here to finance, we have, so we did get a significant amount of money from exports, at least. Uh, let's see what happened, we ended up with some extra, oh that's interesting, of I've managed to build a little thing here. Well, we'll have that door for later on. And in the meantime, this guy is in solitary with the birds. It's Andrew Brown down there. Where's the other guy? We have to let these guys know that beating up on our equipment is not allowed. 
But since we happen to have these guys available, we'll just get some dog handlers here. And we'll put them up here. And what we can do then is I think we will have up in front of this area here, we'll have a patrol here. Because this seems like a fairly high risk area, and then we'll have this guy here with them. We'll have this guy walking around. Except we cannot do that. I mean, I guess we could, but... I was of the mindset that those were two different things. And we'll set up here some armed guard patrols near the gates. And we'll at least get that grant. So armed patrols will go here. It will increase our deal with it, but we will get guards out of it in the interim. So by uh, midnight tonight, I will say that our deal has been done because there is plenty of good evidence that we did meet the criteria. And if it weren't for the fact that we had an incident, we would actually be making money here. But let's go for another grant. Let's go for education reform is probably not a good idea. Although we are about to get that. Let's... Yeah, let's put it down as a long-term goal. And let's get our prisoners coming in. Because our big money maker is going to be these guys here. And in the interim, why don't we go ahead and begin getting our first classroom down. But our prisoners are now in. We have 14 prisoners. Um, no, don't do that. And go to prisoners. Low risk is full. So we'll bring in more normal risk here. But hopefully this guy who has caused us so much trouble is not going to cause problems for us. But we should get about eight grand out of this, I reckon. And that'll be enough for our own little miniature cell here. Although, here's a question. 
do I want to make oh there's all this room over here well I'm not quite ready to handle maximum security yet but I do think I want to extend upon the swing some so why don't we go ahead and do that we'll just make a little miniature prison here and we'll um, we'll get these guys all sorted out and that will add in maybe another 32 or so prisoners so we'll do the shower like class time and we'll get these guys all sorted out here and then we'll probably want a break room pretty close by so we'll do that we'll get um these guys here up and going that's actually not bad that'll give us um, another 32 prisons or so or another 32 prisoners rather for which we can store whatever we want to and that'll do just fine and make nutrition is going all right I suppose and somebody has been caught with alcohol but you can't bring in your whiskey And unfortunately, I wonder if we're ever going to have enough people to press out plates because if we got a jobs here, oh no wonder nobody's able to work here. That would explain why nobody has been doing that. So when these guys next work, which should be pretty soon they will end up at a fairly good spot I believe and maybe they will begin working now as for our classroom here let's just get these guys up and going we'll have a wooden floor in the classroom so these prisoners have an incentive to really to leave we need I believe a school desk here I'm gonna put a chair as well and where are the school desks Please tell me that's just an, a graphical artifact. 
and not somebody tearing up my prison. I mean, unfortunately, I do happen to think that somebody is tearing up my prison. Which would not make me very happy. And maybe we need more entrances here. But let's see, we want how many here? Two, three, four, and five. And they're all pointing the wrong way. We need to get these guys up towards the teacher so that they can pay attention. Because I don't believe that we can really put more than 20 in here. And so we've got the laudable goal of getting 20 prisoners to pass. And that might, that may in fact help our reform situation some. Maybe people won't start using the shower as their own personal punching bag. Speaking of which, maybe some weights wouldn't be a bad idea. After, of course, I put in this telephone. But... Where is that weight bench? We'll put down some of these guys here. There. Now these guys are able to have a little bit of recreation and while we're at it we'll put down some couches as well. Wherever those may be. Although really we need a little bit more serving capacity so that needs to happen too. And what about these guys here? Let's just... We'll get these guys cloned. And get ourselves up to full uh, dining capacity here. I was going to put in, what was it, some chairs for these guys to sit down at. And if we look at our valuation here, We are doing pretty well with this. Now as for why this is going up, there's a need that's not being met here. And that need is hygiene. Let's have a shakedown. We actually let's wait 
on that. We want to make sure everybody's fed. We'll have our shakedown later on tonight. I mean, it sure goes without saying that these guys have had a lot in the way of um, abuse. Not by my hand, of course. But it would be a shame if, because of that, that they were unable to do their thing. Okay, so now it is time for a shakedown. Because everybody's been fed. Undoubtedly, somebody is trying their hardest to escape. And that simply will not do. So I'm going to say once we hit midnight here, I'm going to go through, and because they didn't count breakfast, which they should have, I'm going to go through and get all of this set up, although I guess maybe I'll wait until 3 in the morning first. Now we've got surprisingly no tunneling attempts, although people have been found with drugs and smokes and bleach, because as it turns out there is no um, metal detector here. Which, the one thing that you didn't know about metal detectors, I bet, was that they, um... They just happen to, uh, detect things other than metal. But we'll give these guys the ability here in a bit to grind down these license plates and get us going on that grant. And you know, while we're at it, I want to remove some of these fences as well. But so far, no escape attempts. Everybody seems to be doing other things, like stealing leech but 
for as much as you would think they might hate this place, they are not in the, um, they're not in the habit of trying to escape, which I can personally say is a good deal. And in time, we will make enough in the way of money to get these things going. Now, if we go to our needs, hygiene is still amongst the top, and normally they're supposed to do that on free time. I guess some guys just can't be bothered, so we'll schedule a shower after they eat. And you know what, we'll call that good enough for us for the purposes of this grant. So I will be right back. Okay, and that is now done. We're we're pretty much back to normal. That bug has been fixed through means that are somewhat cheating, I suppose, but I mean, the, the bug really didn't leave us much of a choice. So, um, what we'll do here is we'll do free time. No lockup in that case. Except these guys will get a shower before they go to work. Although it may be better for us to have them eat breakfast and then maybe lunch. I'll have to, to mess around with that. And we happen to have prisoners here. It looks like they're trying to get into the shower. Despite there being better options available. But it is their free time and they can do with it what they please. And I personally don't have the heart to tell them no. But we do... Oh, Shakedown is broken. We, we have had a lot of success with our methadone program. Most of the people who engage in the methadone program are pretty much doing their deal. Let's grab cell block D. And you know what, we have solitary right over here. Our prisoner intake is going to be just fine as well. You know what, let's put down some foundation here and get ourselves a small-ish prison going. And this guy has been caught because he's up to his dastardly deeds again. And I believe I've just placed a large a gel door somewhere where I did not want it to go. Fantastic.
while we're working on this, we'll go ahead and we'll get the water going as well. Now this won't quite get us up to 200, but it'll get us pretty close. And I'm thinking, before too long, that maybe what we should focus on next is increasing our capacity. Now we happen to have a deal here. And that is going to involve getting ourselves metal detectors going. Our psychologist has decided to hang out in the common room for some reason. I guess to get closer to the prisoners. If we go to our bureaucracy here. Not our bureaucracy, we want to go to utilities. We will put in the final bits that we need for this. Prison manufacturing is almost done. And we need to throw down our classroom which we will find somewhere. We'll just, what we'll do is we will schedule classes through our programs. So, foundational qualification and Right now we're at 18 prisoners per deal. Which, you know, I have to admit is not that bad. We we'll want to put down some paving stones, of course. So that these guys end up in here, and I think I'm going to make our yard a little bit nicer. Also, it would be very nice if we got these guys all kitted up over here. But I'm fairly happy with the way this has turned out. Let's see if we can get grading here. Reoffending rate. We have no reform and we've had one death. Presumably due to our riot. It would be really nice if we could zone something holding cell only. And this needs to remain open. As well as... We need to provide these guys with metal detectors. And accompanying bins. No stone shall go unturned in my prison.
but I think what we'll plan out next is some way for these guys to really just where is this forge materials grass would be nice to have here and not the kind that these people are probably accustomed to consuming in their own free time either Unfortunately, our kitchen safety, if we go to our programs here, we've only had three people pass. It seems that kitchen safety is a fairly difficult thing for these guys to, to do. And we got plenty of people conveniently forgetting to leave their spoons in here, which is a little bit worrying. It's going to be time before too long for us to hire more cooks, and in fact, why don't we? At least one more. And while we're at it, we'll dismantle this tree. It's sort of in the way here. This guy can now be open now that it is secured. Same with this guy here. Let's just take a look at our needs. We managed to get most of our needs back in. Which is really quite nice. I, um, I approve of needs being taken care of before they become a huge issue. Meanwhile, what's our prison value at? Our prison value has to be pretty I'm hoping at least double what it was if we go to our evaluation. We're, we're getting on up there. We'll have white tiles in our hospital here. and that will represent a significant upgrade for us and then fancy tiles in our visitation area which is not been secured as such and what about the psychologist office well I generally you would think to put carpet in there, but there is no carpet, so we'll just put in mosaic floor. Now it occurs to me that we probably want these guys here to 
to patrol. So we'll put a guard here. One that will be able to keep a good watch on everything here. Meanwhile, we have found bleach. Which these guys are invariably using for nefarious purposes. And then we will get everything else sorted here. You know what, this should remain open. So that these guys can finish their work. Now, one of the things I could do here, and that would really help, it would make sense in a kitchen, is we can tile this up so that it is a little bit nicer of an environment, because the prisoners aren't going to get a very nice one, as it turns out. But we'll get our workers on that. And then, did I put the pipes in here? We need our pipes all down here. And I think we can begin installing cells before too long. But there we go. We're almost ready here. We just need to get our metal detector taken care of here. And maybe we ought to check on the load of this generator. I think we'll actually be good to have the entire remainder of that block um, dying here. In the interim, we do have eight more prisoners coming in, and we might want to check that out real quick. That could... We're still pretty good on that, actually. It's not such a bad deal. I don't think, at least. However, Solitary does need to be taken care of on the other wing of this deal here. And so we'll do that. We will have our solitary confinement set up here. And we haven't been taking advantage of a grant, have we? Oh, we have. Um, okay, 40 grand to do this. We'll get this started. And this is the part where we are going to want a lot of money 
because the thing that's going to cause the most trouble is that if we go up here we need um, body armor and tasers and CCTVs. Well, the CCTV thing isn't going to be too difficult to do, but well, the taser rollout was something I was thinking of doing, but that's not really the world's best approach. We're back in the black, it seems, and a lot of that seems to come from... Well, for one, we have this moneymaker here that is contributing significantly to our exports. We have a lot of standard prisoners here. Our Minsac grant has considerably increased. Although, I don't know if I trust all of that, but we'll get that up and going and continue to get Solitary implemented here, which will not be terribly difficult by the looks of things. But while we're at it, we're just going to put in some floors here so these guys have easier access to this. And we're going to want floors, of course. And you know what? We happen to have doors here, which I have neglected put in, or I thought I did anyhow, I must have used them. The armory, we're going to set that to normal. There's really no reason for these guys to have access to our doors. We got eight more prisoners coming pretty soon, which will dramatically increase our grant for medium security. But let's see if we can. We got tasers, we gotta unlock. And CCTV cameras. Why don't we, while we're at it, set up a patrol here at the risk of offending the families? Because this is one place where the family members, you know, they're not subjects. Well, they are, come to think of it. They can, in fact, be searched. Which I believe to be, um a reasonable thing to do because hey these guys are going to bring in things that we're not entirely crazy about and our armed guards have decided to, to go back in. The, the body armor 
is probably going to be the big killer for us, and we really do need every bit of that that we can. But we've done well not to take out any loans, and it's very important that we have not. And so what I'm going to do here... is I'm going to just... well... There we go. We'll, we'll clone this guy and we'll we'll get him set up. because increasing our capacity is a fantastic idea if I could just not screw it up like I did here. Let's try this once again. Okay, what did I just spend money on? Try this once more. There we go. Now we have. It's pretty much a waiting game for us. I'll be aside from getting necessities that we need. But we're bringing in money, and that's a good start. And you know what? We actually have people now that are interested in the carpentry apprenticeship. Other than that, some more cooks probably would not be a bad idea because these guys can teach Let's also demolish this wall here. Now this, I'm not sure if I mind too much if... We just don't want the cells to flood. That's the... the main issue we have here. Because if those cells flood, then we are going to be in a bit of trouble. And I'm 
We don't want that. Really, nobody does. Because that, in turn, would actually be quite bad. And why are these... There's no reason to be building these walls other than... I guess it makes you feel good. But we'll wait for the sky to get built and we'll put in the remaining beds and such. And we'll go through here and Where's the room? We need another shower here. Wherever that may be. So a shower is somewhere around here. There we go. shower area here. And maybe at some point before too long we'll have these guys all ready. We've already got, what is it, 16? You know, we may actually come pretty close to increasing our cell count. Now what's the big deal here? They, I bet you they're hungry. That's what it is. Let's go take a look at our needs. Let me in fact make sure that the video isn't going to be too long. It's about an hour now. And if I go look at this other one here, I'm going to join with it. Um, that will be... Um, well, grand, I can't quite look at the video yet. Oh wait, that's because that's the one I'm recording. Okay, so we're at about an hour. Recreation is something that does need to be handled here, and I'm not sure what the best way to do that is. I'm beginning to think maybe a few more TVs. and some sofas. As well. That should be pretty good for us. We should end up about where we want to. There we go, we have the great purge for body armor. Just get rid of 
these things here all of this planning stuff how are our classes doing by the way if we go to our programs we have the one issue that really everybody should be able to get in we'll have to to take note of who's doing what here and of course before I forget we need these guys here so that they can take a shower and so that the cells do not flood. How are we? Okay, apparently part of these walls got cancelled somehow. As though it were, you know, a famous sitcom of some kind. Those usually end up getting cancelled in short order anyhow. Well, whatever, we'll begin working on our security area here. That nobody can interfere with. And in this particular case, security is of course staff only. But I'm beginning to think that our exports, I mean, we're doing a fair amount of them. They're pressing a number of plates for us, and we do have tons in the way of plates. Let's go through here real quick, and it looks like the worst that we've really had to contend with so far is this whole mess with um with what you might call it with the drugs which don't get me wrong it is a problem but I'm not all that bothered by it. In hindsight, drugs would be a whole lot better than really any of the other kind of mischief that these guys can get into. But we'll get ourselves a CCTV monitor going on here. We'll just put them in this little enclave here, and we'll get, we have plenty of guards, why don't we get one deployed here. This is really beginning to shape up. I'm rather happy about that. So where are we going to...
to handle this or to put these CCTV cameras? Well, I've got a couple places in mind. We'll put one here, most definitely. I believe the this area is probably a good place as well. Now there is a, a promising prospect here. I could turn back on the fog of war through here. which will be quite nice for us. How many cameras do we need? We need, um, let's go to our grants. Okay, we don't need that many. However, I do want to take the time to light up the yard. If we can find that, because we do have tons of lights. That we need to, to deal with. And these guys are coming in here for recreation anyhow, so... We wouldn't want these guys to trip and fall. That would be rather unfortunate, I believe. How are we doing on our wood, by the way? We do have quite a bit here for export. But you know what, I'm not going to complain about. And we are beginning to roll in the dough already. We are finally a profitable prison. To some degree anyway, we do have to worry about guard wages and everything, but we're making a fair amount of money because we haven't had any incidents lately. It'll be good to know that we can get around that. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get these guys up and going. And it might help when I do the clone tool that I actually grab the thing that I want out of that. Although, it's worth pointing out that these guys are not supposed to be building the drains here. Because that would, um, 
that would of course not be kosher. We only really want one drain as such. And I did tell them to dismantle it. They're building it anyway. But in this case, it did not cost us a lot of money at all because we've already paid a lot of the cost up front. And for some reason, I guess I forgot to hook in this toilet here. But we are very slowly getting our prisoners up to speed. And we will make a fair amount of money off of exports today, I think. What with all of these completed license plates, or soon to be completed license plates, I mean, we've got a ton of things going on here. We just have to be a little bit on the careful side. Let's go to our deal here. We've got 36, 53 medium security or minimum security. I don't want to push that too much. Okay, yeah, we're going to need another dough up here. Here we are, pushing this guy into the ride. But you know what, let's not do that. Let's instead make this come over like this. And we'll build ourselves another CCTV station. At this time, we'll have one of these in the hospital. It may not be such a bad idea to have one in here. But I think it's about time for us to go here in a bit. Once we get all these guys moving on along. I mean, certainly we have made fairly good progress here. I believe once we build another block here, let's just go to our deployment. This is medium security, of course. We have a fairly good baseline, I think. And our prison value should have gone way up, maybe. Now what's happened here is this guy, oh this guy is exhausted because he's stuck in the wall. How typical.
Well, that pretty much just leaves these guys here. And really now that we're you know we're in here like this I don't think it would really be such a bad idea for us to We'll get this guy up here. There we go, we are more or less set up for, maybe not what will get thrown our way, but, you know, we're already at 100 prisoners, and as for why we can't get our value up, well, that's a good question. But so far, these guys are roaming naked through the hallway like there's no tomorrow, and there can't be much of a problem with that. So, in the interim, I think we'll, once I get the shower taken care of, we'll get these guys to... past foundational education. And it says they're late. Why are they late? But in the interim, you know, we're pretty much done at this point. And I think we will do well to get ourselves back in the black, which we very much can do, if we can just get these guys here. I guess I never hooked it up. But at any rate, this has been Thy Lord Root, and I will see you next time.